Hi, this is Jim St. Ledger from Intel. Thanks for joining me again today. In prior podcasts, I've talked about Network Functions Virtualization, or NFV, and how it can help transform your network. And today, we're going to take the power of NFE and apply it to use cases. I'm going to walk you through a few and show you where and how it can be used. NFE has led to a boom in business transformation. The variety of solutions available to support NFE offer a wealth of benefits. Exploring use cases can help shed light on these solutions and the impact they may have on your business. First, let's start with Virtual Enterprise CPE. VE CPE is a new way of delivering service to enterprises. The solution collapses many physical network function devices onto a single device or platform as a virtual function, enabling service delivery from the cloud or telco infrastructure. VECPE offers many potential benefits to customers, including faster time to market, lower costs, vendor flexibility, and a quick upsell ability without rolling out a new vendor. It also offers service branding opportunities. To give an industry perspective on what we've been discussing, let's now hear from one of our partners. We have an important role in uh, the industry's adoption of NFV as they uh, are working towards uh, a transition towards virtualized networks that are cloudified. It's a transition both of technology and an operational mindset. And we focused on helping them make OpenStack easy, which is the cloud piece of NFE, and making it easy to weave together different uh, virtual network functions. We've been working with a number of customers, uh, most recently, uh, Deutsche Telekom, where we've uh, been teaming them on their Terra Stream project, one of the most earliest deployments of NFE, where we're supplying uh, canonical OpenStack and some tooling to help them deploy it. Uh, we work with AT&T as part of the operating system underlying their OpenStack cloud solution. And most recently, Esalot, uh, the leading carrier in the Middle East, where they're teaming with us to cloudify their network functions. And again, working with us around a generic VNF manager, Juju, as well as teaming with us around canonical OpenStack as the OpenStack, uh, the cloud piece of their NFV solution. As we all know, um, the carriers are competing with a very different class of competitors, Facebook, Book, and Google. Uh, and these over-the-top providers have caused them to recognize that services need to be introduced on a daily basis, not on a yearly basis. I think the biggest yardstick for success as we judge successful implementation in NFV is how many carriers are accelerating the pace that they're deploying services, and are those services quickly brought up to speed and made available to customers to consume or purchase. We've seen a huge increase of the number of carriers that are working with us. And that's not because we have 50 years in the telecom space. They come to us because Canonical and Ubuntu were built on the cloud. And we understand the concept of weaving together different pieces of software to do things. And that's a combination of proprietary software and open source software. Our involvement in open source projects like OPNFV, where we sit at the board shoulder to shoulder with China Mobile and AT&T and Telefonica um, and others to make sure that open source helps commoditize and simplify the pieces that uh, are below the network function and allow the carriers to weave together both open source and proprietary network function software uh, and ultimately propose a great solution into the marketplace that is both performant, interoperable, and most importantly, quick to market. We're happy to be part of that uh, effort across the world. Let's now move to the Virtual Evolve Packet Core, or VEPC, which represents a key NFE use case with great upside. Supporting mobile data transfer from radio access to the internet, VEPC is responsible for many key processes, including subscription, mobility, and session management, and policy control and enforcement. As the shift to mobile computing continues, VEPC solutions will play an ever-increasing role in the way service providers differentiate and monetize services and how we access and transmit data across any network. GI LAN is the IP-based network segment of the service provider that routes IP traffic through different IP-based network functions. 
Virtual GI LAN is a great NFE use case as the technology enables greater flexibility for service routing and more efficient resource utilization with use of dynamic service function chains. A virtualized GI LAN enables service providers to bring new services to the market much more quickly, manage traffic and improve user experience, manage the security of the mobile infrastructure, maximize ROI and existing services. IMS, the IP multimedia system. It's utilized by voice over LTE to deliver voice services over a converged architecture. Implementation of voice over LTE coincides with the rise of NFE and IMS offers many benefits, including faster time to market for services, voice over LTE eliminating the need to have voice and data on separate networks, enhanced calls and chat by adding in videos, pictures, and music, and voice over Wi-Fi, which can be used for improved building coverage when licensed spectrum positions make it difficult to provide that capability. As you can see, NFE technologies continue to present unique and exciting opportunities for communication service providers and enterprises across any industry. To learn more about these use cases, please tune in to this podcast series on an ongoing basis.